Hey streamers, welcome back to our YouTube channel. So this is part two of the live streaming for beginners video tutorial. And if you haven't already checked out part one, that is the live streaming for beginners, where I show you how you can go live on your WordPress website and record that live stream. So make sure you check out that video before you watch this one, as you won't really understand what's happening in this one without that. So in this video, I'll be showing you how you can take that recording and create either a free or pay-per-view video. I'm going to be creating a free video as this is a beginner setup and it's the simplest way to do that. To check out the pay-per-view video, please make sure you check out one of our other tutorials. So go to WP Stream Media Management and here is where your recording or your video file will be saved. So here it is under video management, you'll see the file name and recorded video, the date. And with this, you can delete the file. You can get the download link and download it to your desktop, or you can create a free or pay-per-view video on demand. I'm creating a free one, as I said. And once you get to this section, you can add a title and I'm naming it live stream recording. And on this part, you can add any more details that you want, like your featured image to make it look nicer, more professional. You can also add tags, categories, and basically any other details that will help your viewers identify what your live stream or what your video on demand is about, actually. And once you're happy with all the picked options and also make sure you add the right keywords for your SEO, click on publish. Once published, you will see the permalink right under the um, title of the video. Click on this and it will take you straight to your video on demand. So here is the video player. Once you click on play, it will start playing. And this is how the video player looks like. Um, with a video on demand, you can skip forward, go back, pause, play. You can go picture in picture, move this around and go to different tabs and still be able to watch your uh, video on demand. You can go full screen as well and offer your viewers the full screen experience. And that is basically it on how you can take that recording from your live stream and create a video on demand on your website. As simple as that, please make sure you leave a like, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all our latest content. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and please make sure you keep coming for the next ones. See you soon.